comes the lathe and the lathe includes the main part is the head stroke and the tail stroke. This is our tail stroke and this end is the head stroke and underneath the portion is the head stroke pillar and on the left on the right side we can see that underneath the portion of the tail stroke is the tail stroke pillar and then here you can see that the tail stroke can be moved by means of uh, the tail stroke can be moved by means of this gateway you can see the currently the v gateways and the flat gateways v gateways and flat gateways and it is on through which this tail stroke is moving you can see correctly the tail stroke is moving on this v gateway here and the flat gateways here and uh, on the center portion of this one there exist the carriage part here this part is the carriage this part is the carriage this whole unit is the carriage part and you can see various levers also this lever by moving this lever you can move this cross slide in the direction parallel to the axis of the workpiece that is like this way see this carriage is moving now next is that's that is called the cross wheel of the carriage and next is to give the depth of cut before that we shall explain the tool post here this is the tool post and you can set the tool post like this this is the tool this is the tool it is tool is set in the tool post like this and the tool post is held on the compound rust this is the compound rust and the compound rust has a swelling base you can see the swelling base markings there base marking there so that we can rotate this compound rust as a unit fully based on the angle for undergo the taper turning operation and next is for undergo the depth of cut that is moving the tool moving the tool in this direction moving the tool against the workpiece against the workpiece that is in this direction we have to use the second knob that is by moving this one we can undergo the cross movement okay this is called the cross slide movement and next is to undergo the taper turning operation or to undergo the fine moving we have to use the compound rust here also we can undergo the horizontal movement that is par the movement parallel sorry vertical to the axis of the workpiece so by using the larger wheel you can move the tool we can move the tool parallel to the axis of the workpiece like this and by moving this slide this small one we can move the tool against the workpiece like this like this that is we are giving the depth of cut so these are the main two movements and then you can see two shaft when you see the side view of the lathe one is threaded shaft and other is a non threaded shaft with a groove at the center can be seen there the threaded shaft is called as a lead screw this is particularly used for the thread cutting operation that you all know next is the feed rod it is to undergo all these above operation in a automatic manner and that automatic manner is controlled by means of this feed box given here by means of moving this device we can undergo this uh, feed and uh, we have to engage the feed movement by engaging the lever this one by rotating this one we can engage the feed rod okay 
that's all about the lathe and you can see the knurling tool is also there see this is the knurling tool which is used for the grip for finding for making the grip that is you can see the grip there see you can see the grip there in the surface like this surface can be made by means of knurling process okay that's all about the lathe this is the surface grinder that we learned in the video itself so it is a similar a similar way movement i shall show you the manual operations also by operating this one we can move the move the table manually that you see in the previous video that it is done automatically but we can do the manual operation also next is by moving this one we can move the we can move the bed in the away from us and towards us okay like that movement can be done manually and the depth of cut can be given by means of this one this wheel by rotating this wheel we can give the depth of cut and uh, as you see in the video previous video this is the magnetic chuck for holding the work piece so these are the important parts of this shape uh, sorry surface grinder not much thing to say about explain about these parts okay. you can see the cylindrical grinding here and you can see the grinding wheel in this position this is the grinding wheel and you can set the tool in between these two senders this is the live sender where the motor is placed there and then this is the other end to hold the workpiece and uh, we have to give the depth of cut in this direction that is we have to move the workpiece towards that direction how to move is this is holding ender unit is holding on a table we can see the table there okay so you can move the table in the x direction that is in this direction in this direction we can move by means of this flywheel by rotating this flywheel we can move it towards the towards the grinding wheel and next is to move in the to and fro direction that is in this direction to complete full length of the workpiece to move this we have to use this lever by moving this ro rotate flywheel we can move this lever and we can switch on to this automatic mode also and uh, these are the limits senders for uh, moving the in the to and fro direction okay that's all about the cylindrical grinding machine